So the person you can see me behind me is David Lemmy. This man is just complete and utter nuts. I don't even know what, well, I understand why people in London vote for him because they're as daft as he is half the time. The man is an absolute complete moron. He has said that conservative are like the Nazis. The Nazis killed 9 million people, 6 million Jews. And he's saying a conservative are like that because they want Brexit. Or because someone, a friend of a friend, could be far right, or they could be this, or they could be that. The person leading your party has worked with Hezbollah for a start. Oh no, he only talks to them. Same thing. At the end of this video, we're going to show you where you say, oh no, there's no police around, there's one standing right behind you. Well, I can't see them. No, you see what you want to see. And it took you 30 seconds to say about that you're an ethnic minority. Colour shouldn't even come into it. If you want to say something about someone, say it. Every time your colour comes into it, it is an absolute disgrace. Why is your colour coming into it? I don't start every video off with, because I'm white, it's, you're a person, I'm a person. Talk about that. But saying that Nazis and a conservative are alike, you haven't got a clue what you're talking about, and that's the problem with politics today. Because you have a problem in your party with anti-Semitism, you have to call the other side Nazis. You have to say, oh, they're Islamophobic. Oh, they're this. They're gayophobic. Oh, they hate trans. They hate this. They hate that. And it's all in your head. I'm sorry, but you just see hate everywhere. And if your life is that sad, I feel sorry for you. Hate is not everywhere. Hate is what people make of it. You are working off the weaknesses of people. You're supposed to be someone that looks, people look up to, but you're not. People should look down on you. Not because of your colour before you say it is. Because you're an idiot. The things that you come out with is just stupid. And if anyone else said it, they'd get prosecuted for it. Because you're an MP and you've got protection. They don't. As they say, you can't help idiots. Cheers for watching. Situation now, and let me just be clear, I'm an ethnic minority. We have in the ERG, in Jacobs Rees Mogg, someone who is happy to put onto his web pages the horrible, racist AFD party, uh, a party that's Islamophobic and on the far right of, of the German system. We ha they're happy to use the phrase grand wizard. KKK is what it evokes to me when I think mm, of that yeah. phrase and the Deep South. I'm sorry, but very, very seriously, of course we should not appease that. Of course we should not appease that. Jacob rees mogg has been absolutely clear that he does not endorse the AFD and the Grand Wizard stuff. We don't know where that came from. It's a dangerous thing, surely, to accuse him we of being know, close to we, Nazi ideology. We do know that Boris Johnson um, is with Steve Bannon who is yeah. a white supremacist. We do know that there are links between Viktor Orban, Salvini and others. I'm not backing off on this. Never will I back on, off on this on behalf of my constituents. And the BBC should not allow this extreme hard right fascism to flourish. And often the, well, the, 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 the prettiest side of it, conservative MP. I don't care how elected they were, so was the far right in Germany. They're often elected, often giving a cover for the thugs on the ground. And I'm afraid when people are experiencing rising hate and extremism in this country, we must not concede ground. We must fight it and call it out for what... Um, if, if it feels like neighbourhood policing has vanished, it's not around you. We haven't seen a police while I've been here, and I've been here for a little while now.